today, I'm Shannon Herod, just over here at John Sydney Racing, and we just had a little tip to throw on the dyno today. This is a motor out of my little green Escort, with a little tough 23, which, yeah, we've been getting around in for the last year. Um, yeah, it's mainly used for drags and burnouts. A lot of people ask, why did I choose a 253? Well, I don't know, it just sort of really happened. I've always had one back when I had the Tirana, which was naturally aspirated, then I put the supercharger on that. So it was really just a progression thing. And um, yeah, I figured I still had the motor after retiring the Tirana from burnouts, and why not build a car to put it in, find a lightweight little Escort, and yeah, went from there, and it's just really progressed to see what we can get out of this little V8. Anyone can do an LS, and big blocks are just yeah, I don't have that sort of budget. <laughs> it's a little Holden 253 V8, still running the original red cast iron heads with um, stock stroke crank, with a set of flat top forged pistons, um, scat rods, and basically putting 15 pound of boost into it with a little 471 supercharger. It was time to give the little 253 a freshen up, so we've put a much larger camshaft in it and added a bit more boost by way of the camshaft basically. Also put a set of Jessel roller rockers on it and better top end basically, so better push rods and everything. The engine management's controlled by an Autronic SM4 and the 500R ignition box. It runs on straight methanol, been a dream so far. Um, last time on the dyno, on less boost, it made 510 horsepower at six and a half thousand. Last time we ran a 10.5 at 132 mile an hour. So I think this should quite easily push us deep into the nines, hopefully, which should be fun. Should be interesting to get it to the racetrack and then hopefully we'll um, get it on the burnout pad, hopefully down at loose nets and uh, stall and spring nets as well. well. I'd like to also thank John Sidney for all of his hard work and all the experience helping me set it up and do everything and Richard from Autronic. And yeah, basically everyone that's helped me along the way with the engine and with the car in general.